I thought we could start from a thing that not many bands actually have accomplished last year. As I understand, uh, well, you were able to play some gigs with Vader last September, so... Yeah, September 2020, I think. Uh, uh, exactly. Yeah, there was a, a short opening in the restrictions uh, during the late summer there. Um, and we uh, we got a request to go out to play a couple of shows with Vader. I think it was 10 shows in gen uh, in total. And uh, we managed to go quite all over the place. I think the only show we had to cancel was uh, one show in Austria where only Vader could play because Swedes weren't allowed to enter. So <laughs> it was it was strange, but the tour was amazing. It was really good. Uh, Vader is amazing. The response was great. Uh, amazing job by uh, Massive Music as well, who put up the whole tour. And yeah, it was, it was super cool. How was the experience of touring, uh, you know, during the pandemic? Did it have an effect on the tour or? Yeah, definitely. I mean, ev everyone was kind of every day sitting in the van, just waiting for the whole tour to get canceled. You know, it was like every day you had the feeling that you don't really know if the show was going to happen. And, you know, th there was a couple of shows that got moved last second to another venue. And uh, I think all of the shows in uh, in Western Europe, like uh, West Germany and, uh, and Belgium and Holland and that stuff were seeded shows. So uh, not not super exciting. But it, we made it work anyways. Uh, we, we actually played a church in, uh, in Germany, one of the shows. We were su supposed to play a place called Turok in Essen, I think it is. And uh, that show got moved uh, just the same day because of restrictions. So we moved it into a church instead because I think the, the space was bigger. So they were allowed to bring in more people. And uh, that, that was just incredible. I mean, that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the pandemic. So some, some good stuff came out of it. It was, it was strange, but fun, you know? How was the feeling on those gigs? Because, you know, not many, not many gigs are happening. So people are like searching ways to see a concert, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think everyone was excited. Like, you know, both from, from our perspective to play shows, was just really nice, but then people really seemed hungry for shows as well. Uh, and I, I think that's something that I felt all along because we've, we've still, still been able to play a couple of shows in Sweden as well because we, we didn't really have hard restrictions here, uh, mainly recommendations. So there has been shows happening here and those few shows that have been happening have been really good, mainly thanks to that people are actually uh, really you know keen on going to shows again. They're really hungry to see bands playing again. So, uh, so that's been really cool and, uh, and amazing. And I think maybe Sweden actually needed a bit of that because it's been really bad for, for a very long time in Sweden. I think a lot of people didn't really have the energy to go out to shows and they, they kind of took it for granted, you know? And this shook up the whole industry a bit and uh, it seems like people are more hungry again for it. Talking about the pandemic activities and the new album, Portal Toms, of course. So how was the writing and uh, recording process? you know, under various lockdown situations? Yeah, it was, it was weird in the beginning. I've, I've been living abroad for, for a good couple of years now down in Poland. Uh, and, and we started writing this when I was still living down in Poland. So that was hard because Poland had a completely different uh, atmosphere surrounding the pandemic and everything. And it was, you know, messy just to fly over to Sweden and do stuff together. So, so that definitely had an impact. Uh, but I think once we were, basically once we started recording stuff for the record, I think I already decided on moving back to Sweden. So, and then things got a lot easier all of a sudden because of, you know, again, really no lockdown or restrictions here. Uh, so, uh, so once I was in Sweden again, it, it got much easier, everything. Like we could, you know, actually go to a place of record and, and just meet up with the guys you know like like we used to do and and practice and just test out things so so yeah it was it was hard in the beginning but later on it, it got better for sure the next step is of course uh publishing the new album which is in a couple of days actually so uh what are your feelings kind of releasing new music at this time yeah i mean we've been writing this stuff i think we started writing it right after the release of the first album so it's been a while and it you know these songs have been living with us for quite some time 
and we we really see ourselves as this new band with these new songs and uh, we've been doing a lot of things that we really wanted to do with this new record so it feels fresh uh, and we've just been you know frustrated not being able to get it out earlier than what we did so uh, so that's that's been a bit of a pain but you know then that's the situation we we just have to adapt to it but uh we're super excited about getting it out the response so far have been overwhelmingly good it seems like people are really getting what this band is about in a much greater way now than with the first album uh, and we feel very confident in the songs and what we're doing right now it it just feels like we're you know going in a in a really good direction in every every single possible way yeah in your mind what has changed from the 2019 debut album i mean how would you describe the new album in your own words yeah it's definitely more a lot more melodic and a lot more progressive than the than the first album i think the first album it was like you know written for a different time uh and essentially also written for a different band we've changed the lineup since then uh and you know we've we've really worked on trying to define internally what it is we're trying to do and what what sort of new elements we want to bring into this band uh so so that has definitely changed and i just feel like it's it's a lot more focused and you know you have these these kind of knobs that you can pull you know can pull up the melodies a tiny bit pull up the progressiveness a tiny bit and and uh, that's the kind of stuff that we want to do and we want to try new things you know that's that's really what we want to do with this band and and not just become stagnant and yeah, they, you know another clone death metal band or whatever we we really want to try new things and i i think we really succeeded uh, doing that with this new record it's a bit weird time to publish music and uh, touring is super difficult at the moment but what kind of plans do you have at the moment Yeah, we were supposed to tour with uh, a Stockholm band called Leak now in in March. We we're supposed to do a European tour with them, but it, it seems like it's not going to happen now because of again the pandemic. Uh, everything's just getting postponed. So uh, it, yeah, I'm probably no touring for the foreseeable couple of months at least. But we have a, a couple of shows coming up, being booked in Sweden, and then we have some festivals that have been postponed since the earlier Sweden Rock Festival. Yeah, the metal festival among among others. So hopefully we'll be able to do those this summer. And we're also working on some some new tours for the fall and for next year. Essentially, that's that's kind of the touring plans we have right now. And then we'll see if if some requests come in earlier than that. We'll of course try to do it. Um, and then we're just trying to keep ourselves busy with other types of content. You know, like recording new music videos for this record. We recorded three of them. We're gonna go up to Stockholm now in a couple of days and record some uh, guitar playthroughs and drum playthroughs and some interviews and stuff like that. So that's really what we're gonna work on now for the for the next couple of weeks and months, I think. And then we'll see what happens with the shows. Let's go back to something you said that uh, this time the pandemic has uh, shaken things up a bit in music industry. How do you, from your point of view, how do you think this time will change the industry? I th- I think, and I mean, I I had a bunch of talks, especially with our product manager on Central Media about this, and I think the the conclusion we we kind of have surrounding everything is just that bands and promoters and everyone working in the industry just needs to learn to be more adaptable. Like you know, it's an ever shifting environment essentially, uh, and I think you know we we need to be more adaptive to to what's going on in the world and. For, for better or worse, you know, like I think a lot of stuff is probably going to move more and more into the digital realm, uh, and and that's true for our band as well. And uh, you know, that's that's good and bad depending on how you see it and and what kind of band you are and everything. So it's just hard hard times, but I think adaptability is like the the key thing that everyone in, inside of the industry needs to needs to get better at. And I I think it's a good opportunity to really advance in that right now.